What's poppin' everyone, I am back on Showdown today with a new team built around Raikou. I was recommended to build around this Pokemon, and you really don't see it too often in the OU tier. It was actually quite challenging to build a good team around it, but I have succeeded, and I'm excited to show you all what I got. Before we get into today's video, I'd like for each and every one of you to leave a comment for the algorithm and tell me what group of legendaries is your favorite. Is it the legendary dogs, or the birds, maybe the Lottie twins, or the guardian deities, maybe? Perhaps. Uh, I'd like to know, you know. Raikou kind of got me thinking of the different groups, because, you know, there's Entei Suicune. I think Suicune's the most used. I'm not sure which one's used more, if it's Raikou or Entei, but I haven't used Entei in a while, so I might do a video with that sometime in the future. But I look forward to hearing from you all, as always. Take a look at this set, though. We have Choice Specs Raikou. This Pokemon is going to be hitting extremely hard. I wanted to use Raikou in a way where we don't have to set up or anything. It can just destroy Pokemon with the click of a button, and I think Rising Voltage can do that. This move, it doubles in power when there's electric terrain, so it becomes 140 base power, and then I think it also gets boosted by the electric terrain after the after the times 2 power boost here. So it's going to be hitting really, really hard. We have Terrain Extender as well, so we get the maximum amount of turns possible for electric terrain, so that Raikou can uh, destroy what he can. And of course, you know, Raikou suffers from not having Hidden Power Ice versus Lando T, but it does get Scald does get Scald, so that actually could be really useful because now Choice Specs has a way of hitting Pokemon such as Lando T, Hippowdon, and other ground types that don't have Water Absorb or Storm Drain, which is pretty good. Aura Sphere is there for just hitting other, other stuff like Ferrothorn and um, Tyranitar and things like that. Things that could otherwise sponge these other hits pretty well, so I, I figured that'd be nice. Good amount of speed, nice special attack here with Choice Specs. I actually like, clicked Rising Voltage versus a Blissey, and it took like 51. I don't know if that was a roll or not, but I thought that was pretty crazy how much damage it was doing under electric terrain. But yeah, I paired with Coco, terrain extender, pretty self-explanatory. We want electric terrain, so that's why I had to pair with Raikou. Or Shifu Rapid Strike here. So we got the kind of a Volt Turn core going on with Volt Switch, Raikou, and then you turn on uh, Coco plus Urshifu. Urshifu is so nice because of the fact that you can just destroy ground types with it too with Urshifu's uh, Surging Strikes, and with Protective Pads, we don't get worn down by Rocky Helmet or anything like that, so you can click moves without any kind of drawback from contact effects. So I like that a lot. I have Chansey here, so this is kind of like a Chansey offense build, in a, in a sense, because we have uh, basically a bunch of offensive mons in Chansey. Chansey gives us a sort of all-around switch into many different attacks, which is very useful, because if we didn't have it, it'd be kind of hard to switch around with this team if we're not using momentum or trapping people in the Vortex. So Chansey with counter is cool too because I see a lot of people go for U-turn or just go for a hit that doesn't knock out Chansey and then we could counter and destroy them. I've had it used on me before too, I think in a video, so I like this set a lot. Um, we have Lando T, which is there for rocks, purpose of uh, intimidating and also a good pivot with U-turn. Smackdown is pretty cool too because if we smack down a Pokemon, they're grounded. If they're maybe like Levitate or something. And then we also have Raikou, which um, powers up if the target is grounded in Electric Terrain and Smackdown I think grounds the Pokemon too. And then finally, Kartana for Choice Scarf uh, Defog. And also just a really good Pokemon that can uh, snowball a sweep potentially when you're cleaning up later on. Um, just a good Pokemon for synergy-wise and uh, solid solid team overall. I've been having some good success with it while testing. Um, but it's been tough to make a Raikou team work because with Raikou, like, either you're running it in Electric Terrain or outside of it. Outside of it, it's not that strong. So you have to, like, really build around it well, but... Yeah, then you're running two electric types here, so then you have like only four slots left. So, it was a challenge, but this guy actually doesn't have a ground type. He does have a zero aura though, so maybe we can uh, put in some work here. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to lead Urshifu. I think Urshifu is a pretty good lead, as he actually leads Rillaboom. So turn one, I definitely want to switch out here and not take a grassy glide. Um, I might just go Coco, actually. Coco seems kind of nice, as he grassy glides here. That's definitely Choice Bandit, so I'm going to U-turn out as he goes Zero Aura. And what we can do is we can go into Lando T, and then U-turn out here. So maybe he goes back into Rillaboom, uh, maybe he actually goes Volcanion. So now, we get to go into Raikou, right? Check this out, check this out. I'm going to predict the Zero Aura to come in, and I'm going to go for Scald here. Yep, Scald into a Water Absorb Mon. <laughs> no burn, unfortunately, but we have a Landorus, which does have Rocky Helmet. So he, if he gets chipped... It's basically over for him. And he tries to Volswitch here, which is great. I can U-turn out now pretty safely as Dragonite comes in, right? Now, because Dragonite is in, what we can do is um, we can go into, I think, we could go Kartana. We could also go into Coco. I don't want to go Coco, actually, because I don't think a Dazzling Gleam knocks it out from this range. 
But let's say we go Raikou. And let's say we uh let's say we Volt Switch here. Yep, because he stays in this time. That's actually really bulky. Wow. Really bulky set. I'm gonna go to Chansey then in that case. As he does have Earthquake. I can Toxic here. And then this thing. Oh, avoided. Wow. Well then, uh, yeah. I'll seismic toss here because then I guess he's gonna go Espeon now. But he goes Heatran, so that works as well. I'm gonna go harder Shifu here. Harder Shifu. As he Magma Storms, gonna close combat now as Dragonite comes in and then just you turn out here. Should be pretty safe, I think. Um, but him dodging the Toxic is so annoying because this multi scale is gonna be uh, is gonna be intact and stuff like that. Um, gonna double out here. Actually, I can uh, I can size me toss once again as Espeon comes in on this turn. I don't know if he has trick or not, but I could uh, I could switch to Kartana just to be safe. These side shocks, so that's pretty good. This gives us a knockoff, so we get a big knockoff on something. Get get rid of the uh, heavy duty boots on this, which is pretty good. So he's Earthquake Roost. He actually might have Ice Beam. Like, this could be a defensive set. So I'm going to go back to Chansey as he Roosts once more. Going to just toss. So it looks like um, whatever he switches in is going to be taking, like, good damage and stuff. So I'm, I'm fine with this. Goes Rillaboom here. So the, you know this is Choice Banded. Yo, y'all want to see a play? Yo, check this play out. Check this play out. Watch this play. I'm going to counter. Oh, yes, we lived. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 19% counter, but I think it's kind of worth it, right? Because of uh, of Rillaboom being a big, pretty big threat. So he knocks off here, gets rid of my helmet. That's perfectly fine. I can just uh, I can just uh, U-turn out here, and Zero Aura is gone. Ooh, Zero Aura and Rillaboom are gone. So Electric Terrain is there to stay. That's right. So Heatran comes in now. All we gotta do, all we gotta do here, I think, is um, we can U-turn out and sack Chansey. Yeah, we sack, uh, we can sack Chansey here. Then we go Urshifu and U-turn out now. As Dragonite comes in, pop the uh, multi-scale. We go into um, hmm. So we need to get this thing grounded. So that Raikou can put in the work, right? So we smack down here, right? Let's say we smack down here. So we get this thing smacked. You turn out. Uh, actually, we can uh, we can smack down again. Then we go Raikou, rising voltage here. So I think something something dies now. Something dies here. Oh, that Dragonite lived. That's a full spit F set. But something else will die. <laughs> this is fantastic. So Volcanion is dead. That's good. That's good. I'm so surprised that Dragonite lived. Espeon is dead too. Yep. So that Pokemon's gone. Heatran comes in next. Uh, what we can do here is, I believe, um, I think we keep Coco around for Dazzling Gleam. That's going to be pretty useful. So I think what we do is we go, um, I think we just go Harder Shifu, right? Harder Shifu here. Surging Strikes into this Dragonite slot. Should do a lot of damage, right? One, two, three. Um, okay, let's U turn out into Coco. Thunderbolt. It's not doing enough, but we paralyzed it though, which is really good. That could be pretty good. Imagine if he was toxic though. Imagine if he was toxic. If he was actually toxic, we would have won this game a long time ago. He is paralyzed. Continue to get paralyzed if you please. Yes, thank you. So that, that definitely makes up for it. Yeah, good game, good game. So we had to show off Raikou uh, in this matchup, which was really cool. That Dragonite was definitely so spadef to be able to live that hit. <laughs> Must have been full spadef. Crazy, crazy. Um, but we came through. Definitely came through there. So now we have here a... Sand team. He's got two ground types on this team. But both of those are weak to Scald. Of course. Which could be pretty nice. I'm going to lead Urshifu here. This matchup looks like really good for Urshifu. As he leads with his own Urshifu. 
Um, what I can do is probably just U-turn. I could also go Coco. I'm gonna go Coco here. Coco on potentially a close combat. As he actually surging strikes this turn. Um, that's pretty good for him. I'm gonna hard switch out here then into uh, my owner Shifu. And then I could go for a, a close combat. So he has to sack something here, I guess. Um, I think close combat's the play. Because this thing is kind of a threat. Surprise D surging strike on that turn. Goes Ferrothorn. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So this thing is almost dead now. I can just go for it again. And then surging strikes this to weaken it, which will be very useful. Uh, as the Earthquakes knocks me out, that's fine. We can now, um, let's see, actually, let's go into a Raikou here, actually. Raikou should be good. I can Aura Sphere pretty safely. I'm pretty sure it dies. Yeah, and Ferrothorn gets knocked out, so that's good. That Pokemon is gone. Landers is weak too, so it definitely, um, definitely is good for us, I think. Ooh, we want to see a play? <laughs> Check this play out. <laughs> yo, yo, I stayed in. I stayed in. Yo, check this out. Look at this. Rocky helmet time? Yup. Gone. Drill gone. <laughs> Fantastic. Just what you love to see. Ah. So now what we do is, um, we go into Tapu Koko here. And then, uh... I assume what we do is we go into Kartana, right? I think Kartana should be fine. Or, uh, yeah, Kartana, Kartana. Let's go Kartana here. And then just Leaf Blade. So Hippowdon dies. That's good, that's good. I don't know if Toxicity died. Oh, he goes into this. I'm Choice Scarf, though. <laughs> good sir, I'm Choice Scarf. No, this will not work. GG. Good game though. Um, made a nice play with the Raikou to uh, to stay in versus Drill as he rapid spun. Probably predicting. I don't know what he's predicting. Maybe the maybe the Landers, I guess. But I mean, he's already faster than Landers anyway. I don't know why he'd have to rapid spin. I don't believe I set up rocks in that game either. Um, but moving on to the next one, let's see uh, what we can do with uh, with Raikou because. So far, two in two games, it's at least done something. It's done something really fun. And I'm hoping that we can continue to see that kind of work from um, everything, basically. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so this guy has a uh, only one ground type. He also has a type of Coco, so that, that's nice. If we lose our Coco, we have another way of getting up electric terrain. Um, I'm going to lead with uh, Urshifu. As it looks like Buzzwool is the lead here. Yo, y'all want to see a play? I'm gonna, I'm gonna U-turn out <laughs> into Coco predicting Ice Punch. I think is my play. Good middle ground. Uh, he actually has Lunge, and that does a lot of damage. I think he <laughs> it might be a choice banded Lunge. Uh, let's U-turn out here. Go into um, Kartana. I think a knockoff is is gonna be pretty good here, and almost eliminate this Pokemon. AV is gone though, which I think is gonna be really useful because now we go Raikou and we Scald. Predicting Garchomp to come in, and if that thing gets burned, we're in a really good spot. So yeah, Garchomp does come in here. Let's go for the Scald. It's going to be doing 40-something. does not get burned, unfortunately, but I'm going to go Landers here on this Pokemon. As he tries to Earthquake, we can U-turn out as Buzzle comes in. Back into Raikou, and then uh, Rising Voltage this turn. I think he's going to be the play. As he goes Coco. Oh, this is not going to take it well at all. Yo, that is 91! <laughs> A good old 91 right there. Um, okay, not bad, not bad. Hopefully he U-turns, because I want to go into Landers here. I'm hoping that he will U-turn out. Um, or if he goes into Garchomp, it's still another good play on our part. He gleams, though, and that's not good. Okay, so I'm going to go Chansey then. And then I'm going to double to Landers here. As Buzzwell comes in, we Intimidate it, and I get to go into uh, Tapu Koko. 
to get the terrain back up once again. Now, like I said, once this Garchomp is gone, we're gonna have a field day with uh, with Raiko. He ice punches and crits me here. Okay, wow. <laughs> well then, um, gonna just Thunderbolt then. Eliminate Coco from existence, and uh, hopefully he goes Garchomp. Oh, okay, he actually goes Bisharp here. Interestingly enough. Um, okay, so I go Urshifu then in that case. Urshifu here, yep. And then, uh, I think we just U-turn out as Garchomp comes in. Yo, this is in Scald range. I don't know if this is Choice Scarf though. <laughs> I don't think it is. I don't think it is Choice Scarf because this should be the one that has rocks, right? So I can just go into Raikou here. Raikou knocked out the, well, basically knocked out Coco. So this thing gone, and you already know what that means. It means Raikou can come in and have some fun. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead here and I think sack Landris. These sludge waves though, so this is really good. I can now just, uh, I think just uh, U-turn as Buzzle comes in. That has a Rocky Helmet, okay, good to know. Good to know we can Rising Voltage here now. And I'm pretty sure the Sloking, if it comes in, it just, it's destroyed. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, God. I don't even think the crit mattered because the AV was knocked off. So Bisharp's in now. We sack Coco here to the knock. And, um, yeah, we just go into, um, I'm actually going to go Raikou here. I'm going to go Raikou and Rising Voltage three times to win this game. <laughs> gone. Number one, gone. Number two, this should be gone as well. Yup, nice double, nice double. That's gone. And that's gone. And Raikou picks up like basically all the kills there, GG. Good game, good game. Fantastic game. Um, Wow, so Raikou is actually, Raikou's so good. Okay, like this Pokemon I think with, with running choice specs and, and all these kinds of coverage moves and stuff, it's the best way to run it because once their ground types are gone, you'll be able to just spam um, your electric move over and over again, just like we did in uh, this game. Like, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how it works, but it works. Let's continue on here and see what happens with uh, with this team. It's been solid so far. I've been enjoying... Uh, I've been enjoying this team quite a bit. I have struggled while testing, though, versus stuff like... Uh, like, Bulu, I think this team probably can't be. Unless you run, like, Smart Strike and Kartanov or something. Um, Combine Clef is a bit annoying in one of the games I played. But still, Raikou actually does a ton of damage to basically everything. If this thing is Rockhead, yo, if this thing is Rockhead, Raikou can actually sweep their Trick Room team. Potentially, we'll see. Um, but I wanted, I'm gonna lead Urshifu first as, uh, actually, I don't know if this is Scarf Final Gambit, but let's see, better not be. Yeah, it is, okay. Uh, you can have that, that's fine. That's not my real plan right now. I'll show you my real plan though. Gonna go Kartana. As Hatterene comes in, um, I'm gonna just knock here. As he actually mystical fires, he needs Focus Sash, so there is that. Um, I think I just go Landers here in Earthquake. Should be the play. Yep, that's gone. So only one Pokemon that could potentially set up Trick Room. And that's gonna be Mimikyu. So this will probably be his Trick Roomer for the team. I'm going to Earthquake here, then get Rocks in case we have like Sash on everything else. Curse, okay. Um, fair enough. So we got those Rocks up, which is going to be really nice. Zerkatry gone. <laughs> what is this thing even going to do? Very interesting Trick Room team, I must say. Marowak is in. Um, we go Chansey as a counter. That was not a counter, but you, you know, y'all know what I meant. Y'all know what I meant. So he'll knock us out here. Then we bring in. Um, so we know we know he's Rockhead. Okay, we know he's Rockhead. We bring in Coco. Thunderbolt here. And then Raikou, come in and win the game, please. Never bring Trick Group to the Trick House. I must say. That's uh, against the rules of the trick house. 
rising voltage this. Oh, protect. <laughs> you cannot stall out my terrain. So that's gone. And then finally, Kartana. Which will get destroyed by Raikou as well. Ooh, he was actually a uh, choice scarf on this too. Good game, good game. On to the next one, on to the next one. You just love to see Raikou get knockouts here and there. Even if the game was a bit easier. Alright, this one, uh, no ground type but a zero aura instead. So we gotta go for Scalds more often, or Aura Spheres I guess, but Scald look, looking much better I think. Um, gonna lead Coco in this matchup. I think it's the play. We just Dazzling Gleam here pretty safely. Don't know what he has to switch it, switch into this Pokemon. It's going to be Clef. Um, it's not going to take it well at all. Ah, I see. I see. Ah, you turn out here. Into um, Landorus we go. And then you turn out of this. As Slowbro comes in. Now we make the play and click Scald here. As Zero Aura should come in, but no Dragapult comes in instead. Then I bring in Chansey, heal you turn out into Conkeldur. This Pokemon is a problem. But we have Landorus that we can go into for now. So I definitely you turn out here. As Slowbro comes back. We bring back in Coco. I then proceed to clicking U-turn versus this. And then going into um Kartana. I think a knockoff should be good as Mandibuzz comes in. Then I go Raikou here. I mean, if he, if he knocks off my item, if he does have knockoff and he knocks off my item, then we're not locked in, so we can we can make plays a bit easier, I guess. But it doubles to Dragapult. I'm going to just go Chansey here and then double out into Raikou once again. Oh, double out into Coco here, actually, is the play. Oh, ooh, oh, double Shadow Ball. Okay. Y'all want to see some plays? Gone. Dragapult gone is amazing. But I'm hoping we can do enough damage to everything else with Raikou. Nice double to Slowbro there. I think my play is just to U-turn out. I'm going to go back to Raikou here. As he clicks Future Sight, I am going to Scald here. Knock out Zero Aura, that's amazing. Um, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Something dies though, <laughs> unfortunately. I think it's going to have to be, uh, Kartana. So he'll drain punch here, but we get to go back into Landorus and, uh, I'm going to Earthquake on this turn. Get some big damage off. And then you turn out on this turn. Actually, Earthquake again. That does good damage. Yo, is this a roll? Unfortunately not. So I think I keep clicking Earthquake here. He gets up rocks. Um, it's fine. You turn out into Chansey, I guess. Seismic Toss is my play. Get some good damage there, and then go Landorus. EQ again. Yeah, now Urshifu comes in here. I can Surging Strikes here without any drawbacks. You turn out into Raikou. As he teleports out. Conk comes in. I think he's going to mock. Yep. You turn out into Raikou. Can't do much about these rocks though, unfortunately. But this thing is gone. That's good. Um, I think he might just teleport here. Whew, it's kind of tough. Kind of tough. Actually, we, we might be able to do it, though. We might be able to do it. I'm going to Surging Strikes here. He'll teleport. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Mandibuzz comes in. I think I Surging Strikes this, too. I see Foul plays. Do it again. So 
So this thing is gone. Bring in Raikou and Rising Voltage here. Mandibuzz is sacked. Okay, here's what we do. Watch this, watch this play, watch these plays. Check this out, right? Take the Mach Punch first. Sack Raikou. Oh no! <laughs> no! Dang. Wait, actually no, he lost. <laughs> he lost! Yes! Yes! Let's go! So basically I had to catch him in a position where Chansey would still be alive and he would only have one turn of burn left. Um, so he made a good play by switching out of Conkelder into Slowbro, but then made a terrible play <laughs> going for Teleport into Conkelder to take burn damage. So I think what he would have had to do is stay in with, um, assuming of course uh, Conkelder was faster than Chansey. I think it might have needed speed to do that. I wasn't sure if it had speed or not, but that game was kind of fire though. That game was kind of fire with all the teleports and stuff. Kind of annoying, but um, Raikou did work. Raikou did a lot of work there. Funny game. <laughs> ah, not bad, not bad. Yo, that game was that game was nice. But um we played our outs basically. It was a fun game. Continuing on here strongly as ever. Strongly. Raikou might be my like I guess Suicune was um Suicune was one of my favorite of the legendary uh, dogs, but I think it might be Raikou now. This mon is so much fun. Um, rocking a standard team. Got He also has a, a Reuniclus. Pretty nice. Um, I'm going to Surgic Strikes here. I uh, don't really lose much by going for it right now. Let's see what happens though. I assume he's going to go Finny. But if he stays in, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, Finny comes in. We see leftovers. I can just U-turn out then in that case. And I'll start a timer as well. Yeah, get that nice chip. I'm going to Tapu Koko. Is he actually Moonblast? That's just a bit of damage there. I'm going to just U-turn out. U-turn is definitely my play. Yeah, Landers comes in. Bring back in her Shifu. U-turn out here. As I'm pretty sure Finny's gonna come out, right? But then, okay, this guy has three ground types. He really does not like Raikou, but check this out. <laughs> but check this out. Please go into one of your ground types. You have three of them. I'm sure he's going to sack one of them to Scald. Yeah, Landris. Okay, good, good, good. This is good, this is good. Fantastic. Ah, fantastic. And Landris is gone. One ground type eliminated by Raikou. Raikou is not only beating teams without ground types, it's also beating teams with ground types. You love to see it. So now I think that... Uh, we could probably see, yeah, Garchomp coming in here. That's fine. That's fine. I go Landers for sure. Um, definitely. He tries to Earthquake. Doesn't work. We can now, uh, we can now Earthquake ourselves. Uh, looking at his team, he doesn't have a great switch into it. I believe that's our play. Alternatively, you turning out is good too, but a nice Earthquake is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go, uh, Ooh, actually, Kartana could also uh, clean up as well later on. I'm actually going to go Chansey first, and then double out into Coco. Should be the play. As Melmetal comes in, now we get the terrain up, we can now safely uh, U-turn. U-turn into Landers here, which does have Rocky Helmet if he goes for double Iron Bash. Let's see. Yep. So there's some chip right there. I think that might be banded. I'm gonna earthquake anyways though. As he goes right back to Finny. Um Back in a chancy we go. Actually no, I go Kartana this time. He might double. Maybe he might double. Yep. Figured as much. 
Sacred Sword here is looking pretty good. Uh, actually, what I could do is go to Nidoking. King. No, not Nidoking, King, uh, Landers. Um, I'm actually going to knock. I like knock better a little bit. Get rid of his choice band, which is really good. Now we don't take as much from that earthquake. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, go landers here. Let's double iron bashes. We bring up our terrain once more. This time I can click. Um, can just done. I could probably just dazzling gleam here to knock this Pokemon out. Yeah, that's gone. So. Only Garchomp is his way of beating Chansey. Otherwise, Chansey could just win. Unless this is Calm Mind Ring, Nicholas. If it's AV with with uh, Future Sight, it probably can't. So I think we can U-turn out here. Unless this is Scarfed. Then I will want to switch out. Hard switch. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hard switch out. <laughs> I think that's the play. Um, nice, nice. And then what we do is... Um, we just Seismic Toss here. Yeah, get some get some damage on this. Get some nice chip. Chip damage. I'm going to go Urshifu on this Pokemon. As the Earthquakes here. Um, going to Surging Strikes now. Finny comes in, but that's not doing quite enough. Not quite enough. So then we just U-turn out here. So this Earthquake was not Life Orb, meaning that unless he Swords Dance on Garchomp... We're actually in a good spot right here. Because check this out. Like, we could even counter with Chansey. This could also be a Scarf Garchomp, maybe? I don't see any other move. So he actually switches out <laughs> into Garchomp there. Um, this allows us to bring in Kartana and Leaf Blade. Look at his team now. No grass switches at all. And I assume this knocks it out if he's offensive. I don't think that crit mattered either. Because there's no Rocky Helmet, right? So he has to be offensive, Garchomp. Max speed, max attack. Yeah. Um, Leaf Blade will destroy this thing too. We're going to have a Kartana cleanup in this one. Oh, sashed! Oh, no! He was sashed all along. But little does he know. <laughs> but little does he know. We can straight up U-turn out. Yes. Into Raikou, into Raikou. Sash, sa Sash might have saved him there from my Kartana, but not from Raikou. Definitely not. Um, let's both switch out here into Coco. Gonna hope that he's not Calm Mind, but if he is, I think we have enough firepower to beat it. So our play is to U-turn. Yep, that should be enough. So we go Raikou here. It was actually Trick Room, but we can live this. We can definitely live this. Yeah, not not even Trick Room Combine. Not even Trick Room Combine will stop the power of Choice Specs, Raikou. Good game, good game. Fantastic. Um, Nice. What are we at right now? Let's see. Yeah, I'm good for one or two more for this one, um, depending on how long they are. We're about like 30-some 30, 30 minutes right now. Doing pretty well um, with this team. And we got some great Raikou games overall. I mean, the point of this video, of course, to showcase Raikou. And we are, I think, doing that very successfully. Um, I have not seen a Raikou put in this much work in the OU tier. In this generation's OU tier, I must say. But, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and lead Tapu Koko. Yeah, this is a good Koko game. Thanks. He's a cool team. I like that, I like that. Right there. <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. If they breathe, it goes in the thumbnail. It's always nice seeing Raikou. Yeah. It's a fun Pokemon for sure. Now let's go ahead and U-turn out here. As Blissey comes in, we get to go into Urshifu. U-turn out here should be the play as we go Raikou. And then I think we just Scald here, I believe. I assume Garchomp comes in, but... Blissey could come in too. I hope it's Garchomp though, so we can act at least Scald here. Yeah. Burn this thing, that's pretty nice, I guess. Into Urshifu we go. 
Yup, yup. Raikou's back. I can just Rising Voltage here, actually. Um, He might go... Uh, would he go back to Blissey? I guess in that case, Aura Seer might, the, might be the play. Because I think this will do a lot of damage to it. That's, that's kind of close. Kind of close. But not close enough. Gonna close combat here, though. Hit that Corviknight up, and then you turn out here. Yeah, you turn out into Coco. I would like to get my rocks up, though, at some point, so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try to do that. Yeah, so then Garchomp comes in. This thing is gonna be a threat, but I'll get my rocks up here. As Corviknight comes in, we can smack down here, actually. This is gonna be good. Get this thing smacked. And then, uh, could Earthquake here, or actually I'm on a U-turn. Yep, as Zapdos comes in. So now we can bring in Coco. And then, yeah, just uh, U-turn out here. Bring in Urshifu. Look at this nice Volturn co combination going on. This is a perfect game for that. Raikou come in now. I'm gonna Rising Voltage here. Now Blissey's not gonna expect this at all. Yep. Come in, Blissey. Come in. <laughs> ah, nice. So he can go Garchomp if he wants, but this brings us... Let's just go into Landorus here. So as he, as he SDs up, that's fine. I'm going to... Uh, you turn out here, I think, is the play. Or Earthquake. Um, I think Earthquake here. So that works. I go Kartana now, uh, but Corviknight comes in. So I think I just, uh, I could just knock here, get rid of his item, heal you turn out. So this works out pretty well because I think now it gives us a switch in. Okay, he brings his own Kartana. Um, we go Coco here. As he knocks off, that's fine, we you turn out now. Into, um... I think into Raikou, right? Into Raikou here. Blissey, we don't want to let... Hmm. I'm gonna Aura Sphere. I think Aura Sphere is the play, right? Ooh. It's kind of tough. So the question is, would he go Gengar? Would he go Gengar here? Alright, y'all want to see a play? Yup. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it! <laughs> Ah, come in Urshifu. I knew he was going to predict the Aura Sphere. Like that, I, I just knew it. Okay, Zapdos is in though. Um, I don't think we even need Chansey in this match, so I'm going to go into it. Because he has all like physical attackers. Go ahead and take a bunch of recoil. You love to see it. Love to see the recoil there. Um, and then I think we just... Uh, Go Raikou here. Click that. Uh, I think. How much did Aura Sphere do before? Let's see. Aura Sphere to Chansey did 26. Uh, Blissey did 26. Okay, so I Aura Sphere here. I know it knocks it out from this range. So Blissey comes in. Yep. So this Pokemon is going to be gone. Fantastic. Fantastic. I don't know what set this Kartana is going to be. Could be Choice Scarf. He goes into it. Okay, so this might be Choice Scarf then. Um, hmm. If he's Choice Scarf, how do we beat it? So we go Landers first to Intimidate, right? He Leaf Blades here. Does a good chunk of damage. But let me go Kartana now. Double into Coco. Or triple into Coco. Yep, yep. And then I just uh, Roost here. Get back to a good amount of health. Thunderbolts, get rid of Corviknight. Beautiful, beautiful. Kartana, I think, also gets destroyed. But actually, what we do is we go Landers here. So he's locked into Leaf Blade now. Then we go Kartana. Um, okay, so Kartana is going to be a big threat that we have to worry about right now. Our play, I think, is to lock into Sacred Sword, I think. So that thing is gone. Mmm, this is speed tie right here. Speed tie, speed tie. He win the speed tie. He won. He won that speed tie. Okay. 
So then my play is to roost to 100% health so that I, I guarantee live anything, right? Knock this out. So do not crit me, please, and we can win this game. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I guess we guarantee live that anyways. <laughs> nice, nice. Fantastic game. Um, very good game overall there. And uh, I think that's where we are going to end this video off. I think it was a really solid showcase of Raikou. A lot of interesting games. This was a really good Volturn game. Um, switching around here and there and really positioning yourself to win the game. I think it was really nice overall. But thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed seeing the power of Raikou in the OU tier. And I hope you all like the name OU Raik because it's uh, Raikou. <laughs> Raik OU. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments what's your favorite legendary uh, group. Feel free to suggest anything you guys want to see. Do read all the comments, of course, and um, sometimes take suggestions from there that I haven't used. But I'll see you all in the next one, and peace.